Okay, we got a 18 speed splitter box we took off here. We had the high low range grinding when we were going up and down. We got her all back together and these are the parts that are off. So these are the old parts which look perfectly fine, which we thought. There's actually supposed to be a clutch material on there on the outside and on the inside of this part, which these look fine, but they're actually not. And that's what's not speeding up the gear because it grabs the gear and then it speeds it up without that clutch material. So that we got that change. Come in here, there's gotta be on your shafts, there's little O's on there. You can see that up in there. Right up in there, there's little O's where it marks on both sides. So then you find that on the shaft and then you put a paint marker on both sides all the way down in there. You paint mark that. And then on your center gear, you mark uh, a spot in center with what yellow, you mark one spot and then you do opposite another spot. So you got two spots, you got one there, straight across, one across. This gear here was 26 teeth over. So count both sides, mark one, count both sides, make sure you're even. And then when you put this all back together, you gotta line up those two. You line those up down in there so that both of that male tooth goes into those two female ones you marked. And then you do that. And then you line up on the same thing on the other side because you went 100% opposite here. This one's gonna, sh this one's about to mesh into that one. So there's your one you marked, which is 100% opposite of that one. And that meshes into this one with the O's are on this one. And then when you do that, that meshes the first gear, but you can actually have, you can have this gear meshed in time, but these gears out here actually aren't meshed in time. We had it so that this shaft, once those two are meshed, once those two are meshed, you can actually still be a gear low on here. Like this could be down too far, so it's still wedged. So when you do that, you take a straight lining, something straight, whether something small, this is pretty big, but you line this up on that groove that you just made. And then you forward, this was that? Something a little smaller here. You use a straight edge. So you line this center punch up in that groove on there. And then you line, so you line that up there. And then this lines up with this groove. So then you find the female part like that and you mark it. And you do that on both shafts here. So you have, you have a timing mark on the inside now you got to create a timing mark on the outside for this one. So you just use this as a straight edge. And you push it, actually, you push it all the way down in there. You can see the camera's up in here. You push all the way up down into there. And then when you line that up, that lines up with this right here, right? That's all the way in there. And then you line that up. So now you created a straight line for a timing mark in there. And you line that up down there. And that lines up with this V here. And then when you go to this gear, when you turn it to check it, that in there. So this is what you mark that V in. So you're dead center. You got a gear coming in, you got a gear going out, and this is the one that's biting the hardest. And then if you look up on this side, you got a gear out, gear coming in, and this is the one that's in the middle. So you created those timing marks. We actually had this in, this gear was down one tooth. So then these were kind of too low. And then when you got these, these are sliding your transmission perfect. So you got to line, time this one to the center, and then you got to time these ones when you continue on that timing mark so that they're in the V of the middle there. And then we got the plates we put on. You can kind of just make your own. You take these covers off the back. <clears throat> these are the things that come off the back. You take those off. And you can just make your own flat bar with two holes. You put it there, and then that holds everything up. Because once that goes down, when that's loose, this whole gear just falls down on time. So now everything's solid by holding that on there. And now they can't move. You leave this a little bit loose just so that shaft can turn. And then you take these off. Once the transmission's in, it'll cup on the bearing on the side. And then you pull those off, put the caps in. So that's how you time the splitting box on an 18-speed transmission.